We can now report uh, that uh, the American journalist Stephen Sotloff, 31-year-old freelancer, has been executed by ISIS. Uh, they've just released a videotape. ISIS showing uh, the execution of Stephen Sotloff. Uh, ISIS released the video, uh, and once again, a brutal execution, a beheading of this journalist, this American journalist. Uh, Carl Pennell is joining us from London right now. Uh, we know that they've posted still photos, Carl, on Twitter and elsewhere. Is that right? This is coming from ISIS. Wolf, in fact, a video has also been posted online. We're showing you right now the stills again. That is part of our editorial policy not to show and reflect the ISIS propaganda videos that are going out and also to try and remember these people in life rather than in death. But yes, uh, this ISIS video, a little over two minutes in length. Uh, once again, we are seeing a man with an apparent British accent dressed from head to toe in black. Apart from sand-colored desert combat boots, he has a knife in his left hand. And the opening words there from Stephen Sotloff saying that you know who I am by now and you know why I am here. That is the prelude really uh, to um, what then comes. And uh, later on in this video, we see once again uh, that apparently uh, British accented executioner then pointing his knife into the camera once again as he did with that brutal execution video of James Foley saying, uh, Obama, I am back, indicating that this is possibly the same man uh, that took that action against James Foley and then proceeds to pass a combat knife across Stephen Foley's uh, throat before that video fades to black. Once it does fade to black, once again, uh, we see a gruesome picture after that, a blood-soaked body, again, dressed in the orange uniform similar to the uh, uniforms that the Guantanamo prisoners were held in and what appears to be a severed head on top of that body. Um, and at the end of this video, like the last video, we see another hostage uh, there and apparently an indication there that he may be the next next man we're working hard to identify him give you some more details about him in this video uh, the executioner or apparent executioner as he waves his knife he says obama back off and just leave us alone uh, again brutal propaganda video once again and it seems that the uh, worst has happened Breaking news uh, coming on the wire services right now suggests that uh, Islamic State have released video of the killing of another U.S. hostage, uh, believed to be the journalist Stephen Sotloff. Uh, this is according to Site Intelligence Monitoring Service, as yet unconfirmed. White House just saying that they are monitoring events. They can't confirm that. Uh, Dominic Waghorn, our correspondent in Washington, uh, two weeks after the beheading of uh, another U.S. journalist, Jim Foley, if this does turn out to be true, Dominic. Yeah, and uh, Josh Earnest, the White House press secretary there, was asked about this. The, the news broke uh, after he began his press briefing, so he clearly didn't know anything about it. He said that uh, he hadn't seen any reports, but the White House would be looking into those reports. Now, I know a little bit more than, than he does, but not a lot more, and not more, much more than anyone else at the moment. As you say, CITE, the, uh, it's an intelligence group. It's based just to the north of here in, in Maryland, Jeremy. Uh, we've just spoken to them, and they've confirmed to us what they've been saying uh, to clients, which is, uh, and this is a group that monitors the internet for these kinds of videos and other uh, videos and messages put out by jihadist groups and they say that a video has been released by Islamic State which appears to show Stephen Sotloff, the uh, abducted American journalist, uh, being beheaded, as you say, just as they did with the uh, uh, other, an American journalist, uh, James Foley, two weeks ago. So that does seem to be uh, confirmed as far as this intelligence uh, group is concerned. 
the Associated Press also reporting it now in the last uh, minute or so. Uh, so this is a direct challenge, really, to Barack Obama. He's on his way to the NATO summit in Wales. Uh, he has to consider what to do about ISIS. The aftermath of the James Foley beheading led to a lot of soul-searching here and a lot more pressure on the White House and the President's administration to take a firmer line with ISIS to get involved more militarily. Obviously, that pressure is going to increase. Just to also to add, Jeremy, this comes just five days after uh, Stephen Sotloff's mother issued a direct video appeal to her son's <laughs> kidnappers, pleading with them to show mercy for her son, uh, pleas which appeared to have not been heeded by her son's kidnappers and it now appears murderers. Thanks, Dominic. And the uh, latest wires suggesting that Islamic State in this video has issued a threat against a British hostage uh, as well. Uh, we'll try and find out more on that. But this is uh, the monitoring group that Dominic was talking about has been watching this uh, two and a half minute long video. More on that later.